the car is gonna make that turn look the steering wheel turn itself we're in hey what's happening folks welcome again to tech world vlogs and tesla here again with a new video this video is for tesla software update i've got a really fantastic new update here in the tesla model y and this is update 2024.14.6 some crazy feature on this update. I actually, after this update completely installed, I got a notification from Tesla that I have been given a 30 day trial of full self driving or supervised self driving in the Model Y. So I'm going to go ahead and test that out for the first time. So bear with me because I'm going to get used to this for the first time. I also want to say if you're interested in Tesla accessories, Jawa is the sponsor for this video. They provide some great accessory for your Tesla, um, whatever vehicle type you have. My favorite is this um, LED light that has a motion sensor that you can stick anywhere. I usually keep this in my center console um, and this allows me like light in the night and really has a nice aesthetic look. And also um, my other favorite is this SSD um that i use for my dash cam footage um really powerful 256 ssd provided by jawa and that's the quality of it high quality ssd that you can use to store all your um dash cam video all the stuff that i have from jawa includes these hooks that i would usually use to hang stuff on this is hanging from the glove box um, and these hooks are really useful if you're hanging bags or grocery and i absolutely love these air refreshers here from jawa these air refreshers they provide awesome scent for your car very minimalist design i usually just stick that in near the hood all right so let's get on with the show so this is the software update 2024.14.6 and one of the cool exciting feature here is it doesn't give you much in the detail but a cool exciting feature here is the vehicle now has this blue dot here letting me know there's a new update and it actually indicates where the update is. So if I go to autopilot now, you'll see full self-driving supervised um, is activated and there's some other stuff here. Um, I want average, um, I want lane, change off or on uh, maybe put it on vibrate um, minimal lane change for current drive expanded full self driving feature let's turn it on uh, let's turn this on um, automatic set speed offset we don't need that let's turn on summon yes this allows me to call the vehicle into a parking spot and we'll try that hopefully on this trip and speed display warning that's cool uh emergency brakes everything there is cool with me i'm happy with those i'm gonna make sure those turn on and the next feature here is navigation so under navigation we have avoid tolls now that's turn on avoid ferries this was never there and we usually get stuck with these terrible route where you have to pay tolls now we can turn off avoid tolls so all right so let's put in a destination i am going to go to um let's pick a destination here i'm thinking whole foods all right so i have whole foods plugged in as my desired destination you can see the graphics is actually completely different now this is what the graphics looks like with full self driving turn on which is exciting. I can see a car coming and there you can see a car on your right. Um, so that that is pretty cool. We're gonna do this full self-driving all the way to Whole Foods. I can see all the cars around me that's parked, which is awesome. That's the route it's recommended. That's the time and speed and it's telling me here, pull down um, once to activate. So let's do that. Driving is activated right now. And you can see the car, I'm not touching the steering wheel. The car has turned on the indicator, uh, is approaching the stop sign. Um, see right now, I'm not actually turning. It's looking wrong. It sees us, there's no car. It's gonna be tight because there is cars on this side. Wow, it actually um, stayed away from the cars. 
it's a little close to the car but there you go folks i am not touching the steering wheel there's a stop sign there it stopped at the stop sign and it's going it's gonna wait here and now it's going uh it's picking up the direction right off the road look at that folks there's a car coming up there it's gonna drive beside the car without hitting the car still not touching the steering wheel there's a stop sign coming it's gonna stop at the stop sign i am still not touching the steering wheel and uh, hopefully as it stops the stop sign it's gonna go there's another car on the side so you see the car turns around only thing is it's very bumpy and it's speed bump there was a speed bump there and it wasn't comfortable so now i have to slightly apply pressure on the steering wheel let's do that so the reason why we have to apply pressure on the steering wheel is so that the car knows that we're paying attention now there's a stop sign here and there's a little map over here that tells you the route there's a car coming it's gonna steer away from the car there's a speed bump here so it just takes the speed bump a little heavy um so we keep going it actually turned on the indicator i haven't touched the steering wheel turn on the indicator it's gonna turn right um as soon as it's clear on traffic and it's gonna make that turn so let's um pay attention here look at this steering wheel making the turn it completed a turn it changed the lane all the way to the left and it's gonna keep going here this is a tricky intersection so i'm probably gonna take over because there's a lot of traffic here This is a nerve-wrecking um, experience if you're not used to self-driving. Car is literally driving itself at a busy intersection. There's a green light, but we can't go because there's cars in the way. I'm not touching the steering wheel or the pedal. The car is driving itself. Um, crazy experience. So yeah, it's not for the faint of heart. I'm not gonna lie that I'm not nervous, but yeah, the car is literally driving itself. All right, we uh, have more of an open road here. I didn't really feel safe at that busy intersection, but here I have the car um, going the speed limit, driving itself on this mini highway. This is kind of slow for my liking. I usually, the speed limit here is 35. I'm usually pulling maybe 40, 45 on this route, but I guess this is good for safety. Um, and there you go, slightly turn the steering wheel to let the car know that you're paying attention. So let's do that. Thank you. There we go. So I turn it. Uh, car still driving itself. There's a lot there. Pay attention on the road. Says so watching me. It's telling me to pay attention. All right, fine. I'm paying attention. And there we go. What do you think about this experience? Would you do full self driving? So I have this here for 30 days to beta test it and give that feedback to Tesla. I don't know if everyone got this um, beta testing update. I got it certainly moments ago and I wasn't uh, I was very excited to show, show you folks firsthand what this is like um, it's crazy how cool this is I am NOT touching the pedal car driving look at the graphics it literally has a 3d overlay of everything that's on the road say slightly turn every few minutes you have to turn the steering wheel to activate the motion so the car knows that you're paying attention challenge with this route here is that it has a lot of construction so i'm curious to see how it takes this turn oh it did take the turn really well wow here the lines are not so clear but it's taking that turn i was a little nervous to hang on to the steering but it's taking that turn really well considering there's so much construction ahead look at all that construction folks and it came to a stop we have a stop sign here it's pretty pretty interesting
I must say the car is actually driving better than if I was driving it. Unfortunately, the only thing I observe is that it's not able to detect holes on the road. So sometimes I notice it actually went over the holes. But uh, here at another intersection here, and you can see how the lane is set up. And it's actually picking up every single car that drives by, which is really amazing. Um, so we're almost eight minutes away from Whole Foods. And I'm doing this entire route on full self-driving, i.e. supervised self-driving. Love the UI, it's truly fantastic. So here we go again, stop sign, green, car pulls off faster than I would like. Uh, get the alert there to uh, indicate you're paying attention. And our car is still going, green light, haven't touched the steering wheel. And uh, we still keep going again, it's green light, haven't touched the steering wheel. Other cars are watching me like I'm a crazy person. Here we keep going. love the real-time feedback uh, you can literally count how many cars is on the exact road at this moment in time which is pretty cool and it's actually showing you the depiction of a truck um, which right over there you can see there's a truck we see it here on the animation or the graphics which is awesome um, light is red we're gonna be picking up soon see where my legs are uh, when it turns green We'll see our car pull off here without and me pressing on the pedal. In the car pulls up by itself. It detects the lane. It's telling me to put pressure on the steering wheel. I put pressure on the steering wheel. It is gonna keep going. Here the maximum speed is actually 20. So it's recommended that we slow down a little bit to maintain the maximum speed. Now we have the green light, so the car is gonna pull off, maintain safe distance in front of the Tesla in front, and it's taking us to that destination by itself. No input from the driver, other than uh, apply pressure to the steering wheel so the car knows I'm paying attention. Other than that, the car is doing all the work, and we're going over a bridge, at 40 miles an hour which is pretty far that's like 60 kilometers an hour so the conversion to kilometers is pretty fast and it's doing it all by itself so tell me folks what you think about this experience it's wild that a car is driving and taking me to a destination by itself all right now i just had to apply pressure but now it's turning we're going into uh, make a right turn and it just put on the indicator put on the lights merge in the right lane and it's doing it all by itself it is literally full self driving a uh, cool experience um never seen this before and i'm blown away this is awesome for long road trip it's harder on um local streets because local streets have really that pothole and construction that could get a little a clunky experience but now that i experience it i'm going to take this on my next road trip to canada and this will be awesome because this is just wild experience can't believe it i love the interface i love the experience big thumbs up i'm really happy to test to give me this trial um i'm probably gonna have a lifetime customer here with having this full self-driving feature here we are, the car is going to make that right turn by itself without any put input from me. And here it is turning, turning the steering wheel by itself, maintaining that lane, maintaining that speed. I'll be aware that there's a car in front, it's telling me to put um, apply pressure to the steering wheel so it knows I'm paying attention. It's maintaining the right speed. And look at that folks, a, a complex maneuver and the car just pulled that off all by itself. I am blown away, just abs absolutely blown away. Uh, we are we're coming close to our destination. You can see our destination there. 
on the route the car's taking. This is the route I would take. It put on it put on the indicator actually by itself. And look at it. It's gonna make that right turn into Whole Foods all by itself. Look at this, folks. Let me just put on. Look at this. Thing. Look at this maneuver. This is insane. So there's cars coming. Uh, it the car put on the indicator by itself. We have to make this turn in to Whole Foods, which you can see here on the screen. And this is where we are. So we have to turn in, and the car is gonna do this by itself again. This is uh, really crazy. I mean, technology is just so advanced when you drive a Tesla. My foot is here, just so you know. There we are, we're pulling off. The car is gonna make that turn. Look, the steering wheel turn itself. We're in, and now it's gonna make, it's trying to decide which turn to make, but now we're gonna make another turn. I mean, it was straight. There's pedestrian there, so it's slowing down and respecting the stop sign. And it's going to keep going until we hit the destination and it says the autopilot navigation turn off which means we are all done this is our destination this is our parking spot here it's actually gonna park but oh wow it's gonna park by itself it literally pulled into a parking spot without me telling it and it parked it literally parked by itself and put on a signal wow all right so another feature that i'm really nervous to try but I have to try it because it's Tesla and it's self-driving and why not is the smart parking or auto parking with Tesla. So I just want to walk you through how this works. So first you're going to see on the screen here, um, the, you're going to see the parking spot that it indicates available. So it's saying this parking spot is available or this is available. And when you press the parking spot, it's going to ask you to start auto park. So right now I'm gonna select start auto park and the car is gonna make all the adjustment to park in that parking spot there. Now I know it's not the ideal parking spot but I just wanna try it with some of the cars around me so I could get the experience. So let's check this out right now. Park in by itself. Um, my foot is at the bottom here, I'm not pressing the gas. I'm not even touching the steering wheel. The car is making that parking all by itself all by itself so now it's straightening the front and it's cal it's like using the camera to guide how straight it needs to be you can see a line is drawn between the parking spot and the car and it's a lot of steering and there we go it literally park itself in the tesla parking spot equal among the space between the wall of parking put itself into park and straighten the steering wheel all in one shot. How cool is that? I've never actually experienced this before. That is awesome. This is what you call um, park assist or auto parking feature. And it did it all by itself. All right, so there you have it. We did a full trip with self-driving all the way from my home to Whole Foods. We test out the parking feature. And there's one more feature that I want to try, and that's the Smart Summon. All right, that wraps up the journey here with uh, the full self-driving on Tesla Model Y. I'm actually going to go home now, and I want to show you the UI uh, with this new update, full self-driving in the night and how it looks. So let's take a look at that um, on the screen here. All right, here we go. Full self-driving coming up to a stop sign. You can see the stop sign there. Um, it's telling me pay attention. So I'm paying attention, Tesla. Stop sign, move my leg here. It's gonna turn. Uh, creeps in, make sure there's no traffic coming. And it's going to go right here and park, I think in front, I'm not sure, or beside. Yeah, it went right beside the car here and parked, which is pretty awesome. And here we are, just parked at my location. All right, so if you like this video, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment below. I'll be doing some more video of Tesla full self-driving experience. And I also make sure you leave a comment and let me know what you think about our experience. Would you ever purchase a full self-driving car? If you are, I'll have a link to the referral there if you wanna purchase a Tesla. And if you wanna take advantage of all Java cool accessories, 
I'll have a link in the description with a coupon code that you can use. That's it folks, we'll see you on the next video.